Hey guys, so I want to do a quick unboxing here of my first Sony phone of 2018. We do have uh, Xperia XA2 Ultra smartphone, uh, which should be a very big phone from Sony, about uh, mid-range kind of thing. Not the most highest end, but uh, still very interesting because uh, it's coming with uh, slightly better in terms of the design compared to the normal kind of Sony bezel. Uh, design so it should be pretty good and I was a big fan of the old uh, XA1 Ultra and the Z Ultra before that so let's see what this one brings to the table I think the actual box is already open so you know, we're just going to get it open here and have a look uh, so this is in a grey colour as you can see, very big expansive display here, that is nice to see. They have shrunken the bezels a little bit, uh, they could definitely do a little bit more but looking very nice in terms of the build here. And they've also changed the fingerprint uh, scanner from the side, wow that is a nice change, look at that. Uh, so I'm just going to put this to the side and have a look at what we should get in the box. So you get your normal stuff like your Xperia your Care etc. And also your charger, which I guess is a fast charger. And also some nice earphones here, as you can see. And uh, what model are they? Look quite decent. Put like that to the side. at that wow slab that's what that is uh, so you got your type C which is nice a little bit sticky out lens here uh, but hopefully it shouldn't be too much of an issue uh, but certainly liking this kind of frosted design here uh, much better than you know shiny kind of back uh, that is definitely a welcome change uh, so we're just going to do a size comparison with the old one, as you can see. So they've gotten rid of this kind of big uh, front camera module and put two there now. Uh, so it kind of looks like a pair of eyes, maybe it's some sort of uh, feature, I'll have to look at the instructions, but you know, uh, very nice in terms of the construction let's just boot it on hopefully there's no you know light bleed and stuff that we did see in late 2017 uh, which was a little bit annoying and it looks like there's a screen protector on the actual device So does it say the spec? I'm not 100% sure of what it is actually in terms of the spec. I rarely, you know, read that. As long as the actual performance is nice, then I'm quite happy. I do like Sony's little, you know, startup here. So we'll just go through this quite quick. We'll skip this. skip anyway so we'll definitely check out the fingerprint scanner because it's in a new place and we don't know how it actually works oh so a little bit new in terms of the background there very nice to see and this is the max kind of brightness so let's go to this 
disable that. Oops. And put that back up. So it seems quite bright, you know, very legible, shall we say. I'm assuming you're getting the uh, super vivid kind of mode here, which I do like. And font size you can change. I'm guessing you can change the icons. So you can see it's already on large. Get rid of that. One thing I have noticed about Oreo devices is this annoying kind of symbol which comes in the top when something's happening and I wish that they get rid of that because it's annoying uh, but you can see this is a nice slab here when it comes to your smartphone Wow! I wanted to uh, check out the fingerprint scanner as well see how that works uh, so we go to the security fingerprint and just set a pin here so nice easy one to remember so on the back you will find it so not the fastest to set up here definitely not I mean, some of them you can just set it up pressing it five times, but as long as it works, that's the main thing. Sony boy, let's uh, turn it off. Yeah, so it works quite reliably, as you can see. It would be nice if they made it, uh, I do like the actual animations when you're unlocking it. Uh, you could see there, you know, in terms of the background, it's little twitches like that which make the phone stand out a little bit. Have they got any new wallpapers? So they got quite a few of these new ones, which look pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, you know, uh, just a quick little unboxing and first look of the XA, XA2 Ultra. These names get bigger and bigger, I've got to say. Uh, but a very nice slab of phone here, which I will do some comparisons with. Check out how it compares. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.